Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me today. As always, I am your host, the Pope Slotsy. Hope everybody's having a great start to the day. Bringing to you a pretty special episode today. It's an exciting one for me. We're going to be doing the female and male Zandalari Troll Shadow Priest animations. So hopefully you enjoy. That being said, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. First things up, we're going to be popping off our shadow form which is our mainstay of the Shadow Priest. The animation on this alone just looks amazing. There's nothing nothing missing right now on the Zandalari Troll uh, form here. So Shadow Priest, Shadow form looking good right off the bat. So we're gonna go with our first cast is Vampiric Touch. Awesome, so Vampiric Touch looks amazing as usual. But as you can see with the cast, looking clean, looks good. Okay, next up is Shadow Word Void. A little bit more of an animation there, but I love the levitation here. This is probably one of the coolest spells for the class. We start with our Vampiric Touch. We pop straight into Shadow Word Void. Beautiful. Looking amazing. Okay, guys. So then we're going to move into Shadow Word Pain, which is an instant cast. There's not much to be seen in lieu of animation there. Yeah, here it's just a single hand cast. Nothing too crazy. So one of our main moves here is Void Eruption. Oh man, that's one of the best moves in the game in my opinion. Not only do you levitate after, uh, but you've got a new shinier blue looking um, animation to your character. It just, it, honestly, if you guys have never played a Shadow Priest, I highly suggest it. Alright, so next up on the list is Mind Flay. Again, one of our staples here for single target damage. Mind Flay looking good. Casting animations on the females are looking really good so far. Everything, um, everything smooth as butter, man. Okay, so now that we've seen those, we'll move into Shadow Crash next. We'll be, we'll do our disper or big pop off first, then we'll Shadow Crash. There it is. Excellent. So Shadow Crash, one of the cooler animations for this class for sure. So next up, guys, we're gonna look at Void Torrent. Void Torrent looking beautiful. One of the cooler moves. I'm glad they took that and kept it in the game from your uh, Legion artifact. So that's a good one for sure. Shadow Crash again. Now we're going to Mind Seer. So this is the AoE version instead of Mind Flay. So this is the AoE potential of the class. It looks a lot better when you start to AoE, that's for sure. As you can tell, guys, this is one of the more fun and interesting looking uh, caster classes in the game. In my personal opinion, by far, it's it's got to be top three. Um, it, it's beautiful. They've done so much work on this void form. I got to say, they've done a phenomenal job. So here we've got the Siphoned, who just casts a Mind Flay on the target the entire time. And then we have Shadow Fiend. So our Shadow Fiend will attack on the side there, too. Yeah, guys, so that just about wraps up most of the attack animations for the class here. Let's see Dark Ascension. It's an instant cast void form. Sweet. So you get the giant explosion. All the void bolts pop out. Looks really good. Uh, we'll throw up Vampiric Embrace. Okay, no, no animation really for Vampiric Embrace there. That's okay, though. Okay, guys. So we've gone through the attacks. Now we're going to go through some utility spells. We'll pop our Power Word Shield. Looking pretty standard. The animation looks good. The idle animation for caster female here is looking pretty cool. Greater Fade, not too much to be seen there. Small animation, looks good though. Dispersion, one of the better PvP talents, that's for sure. I love it, looks like you're at a cloud nebula. It just looks amazing. Purified Disease next. Purified Disease looking pretty standard. So we'll cast Mind Bomb. Mind Bomb, standard animation, standard cast. Hand up in the air, looks pretty good about power word fortitude okay cool standard animations everything is looking really clean everything is looking complete uh, i have absolutely zero concerns towards um shadow priest on the zandalari troll the casting animations are looking really good uh, it was mindbender i was thinking of earlier by the way guys sorry about that let's show off mindbender actually once that comes up off cooldown we'll pop that guy uh surrender to madness we could throw that cooldown on our bars right now Standard animation for Surrender to Madness. I really like the uh, purple animation underneath you. Um, looking really cool. One of the more interesting moves for the Shadow Priest, if you're ballsy enough to use it, especially in PvP, because it technically almost kills you. All right, excellent. So it's finally off cooldown. We can show off Mindbender. We'll show Mindbender and Siphoned at the same time. So as you can see, my little Mindbender guy over here, doing big damage with my Siphoned. 
So this is one of the cooler combinations for PvP. Does tons of percent damage to people's health. Lots of fun. We're gonna show off Shadow Mend. Shadow Mend cast animations looking pretty standard, but looking clean. Nothing wrong there. Let's see when we get the mana for it here, we'll use that. But Levitate up next. Levitation, always a fun spell. Definitely, uh, definitely a fancy point for the priests. Let you get through some PvE contents easier, getting across water, etc. And Master Spell. Beautiful. Master Spell, phenomenal. Looks pretty. Uh, raises you in the air, actually, as does our, our Shadow Word Void. But when you're already levitating, you levitate a little bit higher, so that's really cool. So you can always see how high you can go. All right, and as always, guys, I'm going to quickly show you a couple of sets for the female Zandalari Troll Shadow Priest, and then we will be doing the male animations and some male sets. All right, so first up is the Dread Gladiator's Vestment, Battle Season 1 and Arathi Warfront with some of her sets. So this is looking really cool. This is definitely along the lines of what I would want for a Shadow Priest. Maybe the different colors, but the actual the skull helmet here and the shoulders looking really good. All right, here we go. This is definitely, definitely a good Shadow Priest set. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave me some feedback, guys. Are you enjoying these videos? Are you enjoying the Shadow Priest video today? Is this something you think you're going to play in the future? Are you a Shadow Priest main that just can't wait to switch over? Can't wait to hear from you guys. Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching this section. We're moving on to the males next. Okay guys, and we're back with the male Zandalari Troll Shadow Priest, so we'll check out the animations right away. Let's get straight into it. Our shadow form first. Excellent, shadow form looking good on this model. Nothing out of place. So first up is Vampiric Touch. Alright, already you can see the difference in the animation here. He like hunkers down, definitely more akin to the, um, the regular trolls in the game. So this is looking really cool. Definitely different from the female right off the bat. Okay, next up is our instant cast, Shadow Word Pain. Those hand cannons flying out, looking good. Nothing to, uh, nothing to really want for more there, looks good. Alright, Shadow Word Void next. Again, with that levitation, looking amazing, I absolutely love that. Alright, moving into Void Eruption. The Void Eruption looking sharp. We'll keep up with these uh, combos so you guys can get an idea of what it feels like to just continuously cast. And next move is Mindflay while we're at it. Very nice. Mindflay looking good. All of our male Zandalari troll casts so far are very sharp, I have to say. And there's Mind Seer for our AoE. Not very much difference in the actual animation itself. Love the levitation on this though. Shadow Word Void, I have to say. One of the cooler animations in the game. So next up for me is Dark Void. As you can see the animation there. The cast animation looks clean. Lots of auspicious spirits flying out. I love it. We'll keep popping off here for you guys because this is one of the more entertaining classes to play. Next up is Shadow Crash. Nice shadowy missile. Looks good. So Void Torrent up next, guys. There's our Void Torrent. Huge, huge animation here. This is one of the best looking animations for the class by far. I'm glad they took that from the Legion animation or the Legion artifact animation, sorry. Okay, so let's cast out some of our summons here, guys. Let's get our Shadow Fiend up. So our Shadow Fiend hanging out over there. The cast animation itself doesn't look very different. How about Psy Fiend? So our Psy Fiend doing huge percentage health damage as we hang out back here. Looking good. Dark Ascension. Instant cast void form. Looks good. If you're a Shadow Priest main, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Are you going male? Are you going female? Are you going to go Zandalari at all? Is this a class... Or is this a race that you're excited for as much as I am? We should check out some of the utility spells like Power Word Shield. Pretty cool standard cast animation there. Master Spell. I love the levitation. They threw it into a couple more spells, so that's good. Power Word Fortitude. Looking standard. Vampiric Embrace on the enemy, but I would like to see how he casts it out. Excellent. So Vampiric Embrace looking pretty standard stuff. Nothing too different there. We'll pop out Dispersion. Always cool looking. You look like a nebula here. I was saying in the last section, I just love it. You look like a mass of stars, man. It's really cool. Next up is Mind Bomb. Animation for Mind Bomb. Not too much there. Big stun. Shadow Men for ourselves. But okay, guys, that just about wraps up all of the attack animations. Now we're going to move into just a few of the sets for you guys to check out. 
as we did with the females, I'd like for you to see what the males are going to look like. First up is the Battle of Dizar Allure Soul Reaper's Raiment. A really, really cool looking Shadow Priest set, I must say. A little bulky on the male for the shoulders, but that being said, the skulls, all of, like the tentacles that look on the shoulders here. I know this is all bones, but this is very Void-esque in my opinion, so this is going to fit perfectly with Shadow Form. And we showed it off on the female, we'll show it off on the male. Battle Season 1 and Arathi Warfront Dread Gladiator's Vestments. There we go guys, so still looking really cool. Fits the model perfectly, it's a great looking set. And we showed this one off on the female as well. This is from Tomb of Sargeras, this is the Vestments of Blind Absolution. Uh, another great looking Shadow Priest set. Fits the male Zandalari troll form very well. And we'll show off one last set here, the Yulduar Valorous Sanctification Regalia. Another one of my favorites for priests in general, and it always looks good on Shadow Priest. This is a phenomenal looking set, the shoulders look cool, the Zandalari trolls look like some mean mean priests, man. Big bulky bastards. Everything looking really good here. But guys, again, thank you so much for stopping by. As always, taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate and love all of the feedback and positivity you guys have been giving to me. So I always want to try to resonate that back to you guys. So thank you so much for all of the love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're so close to hitting that goal of 50 subs by the end of February. Hopefully we can crush that. And if you guys haven't already, crush that like button. And we'll stay tuned because we'll see you in the next video soon.